Australia's culinary scene is booming and inventive chefs are rethinking the use of local ingredients. We visit three restaurants in Melbourne, Sydney and Hobart that prove that Australia's down-to-earth mentality and good food go hand in hand. Famous for its idyllic surroundings, Tasmania's capital Hobart is home to one of Australia's finest restaurants, Franklin. When chef David Moyle first arrived in Tasmania, he was astounded by the array of ingredients and set up Franklin, housed in an old Ford showroom, as a homage to the extraordinary produce. There's not many places in Australia where you can be so close to rural and agricultural areas and the ocean and still be in a relatively urban environment, which makes it, yeah, it's a bit more romantic, I guess. It's a bit more hands-on and a bit more interesting. We print the menu daily. We don't necessarily change every dish because it's a relatively extensive menu. It still works within the parameters of the normal structure with appetizers and starters, but we just wanted to respond more to the more interesting ingredients that were in Tasmania. There's a couple of small markets here, but we don't have the luxury of a strong distribution outlet, which is a, a blessing and a curse in a way. We draw on two or three growers for you know, leaves and herbs. I've got one person that I go to to buy peaches, one person for the octopus, so you're not ringing up and going, I need two kilograms of octopus. You're, you're buying what they've caught. That's why the menu is as it is. There's one dish that hasn't come off the whole time, which is a whole baked abalone and seaweed in the woodfire. Locals here are so used to picking abalone off the rocks and cooking with crayfish and having all these gorgeous things. Whereas I wanted to represent them in a restaurant sense, in a restaurant scene. Obviously it still has to be a cohesive menu. It's not just about being too ideological. We like to think it should be accessible for people and um, not too esoteric. We want it to be humble and fun. From Tasmania, we jet off to Australia's mainland and arrive in Sydney. Located on a quiet residential street in Rushcutters Bay sits Acme. Four friends decided to combine their skills to create a top local eatery. We really always wanted to set out to be a neighbourhood restaurant and to be that hangout venue for people that live in the area. The experience that we want to give to the customer is a very it's a personal experience. It's a, a sum of the, the four personalities that, that we are. So we serve the food that we like to eat. We pour the drinks that we like to drink and we play the sort of music that we like to listen to. We all work together really well because we look after certain aspects of the business, complement each other in, in that way. Uh, I don't try and get in the kitchen and cook the food and Mitch doesn't come and shake cocktails in the bar. Now half the menu is pasta. That's Mitch's thing, and the pasta is made every day downstairs. The menu changes all the time, but there are three dishes on our menu that have been there since we opened, and that's the bologna sandwich. It's a little bit of a reminisce of the schoolyard Devon sandwich that really everybody in Australia has eaten at one point. The linguine, and then the macaroni, which is the one that probably gets photographed the most. In terms of the drinks, We've, we started with a very small wine list, but it, it's grown out significantly. We have a, a small cocktail list that uh, is pretty much changed weekly when I get bored of making them. And it's, it's seasonal produce, so, so whatever, product, what, whatever produce is looking good, we like to make, make, make drinks with that. We've always wanted to have a menu that, that, that changes around, and it, and it goes with the idea of being a neighbourhood place. We, we want people to, to want to eat here regularly. And, and that means keeping things interesting, not just for the customer, but also for the staff and, and for us too. From Sydney, we travel down Australia's east coast to Melbourne. Tucked between the city's high-rise buildings in the CBD, Embla offers a welcome escape. Co-owners Christian McCabe and Dave Vahul masterminded the extensive wine list and tasty morsels on offer. We really just want to open a really easy-going, kind of casual, fun wine bar here in the city with good food, great natural wines, good people, and just, yeah, just kind of good vibes. Quite often with, with wine, people get stuck into a serious kind of swirling and sniffing, and we just wanted to have fun. 
The wines, Christian and I partnered with Eric Nario, who's got the Cab de Perenne in London. So we import a lot of natural things from Europe uh, through him. We also source from a bunch of great producers around Australia. We try and work with lots of little producers, we try and work with wines that speak of the environment that they're grown in. Most of the wine that we have on the list at the moment, 60-65% of it would be from local Australian producers through uh, South Australia, Yarra Valley, all over the place. All of the food we make is, is super easy to share. The menu's pretty short, 15 savoury and a couple of sweet. We try and keep it pretty easy going, nothing too kind of dumbfounding or confusing. Everything's pretty straight. Most of what we do here is not kind of about the singularly like the wine or the food or anything like that. It's almost a forgotten thing in hospitality we, where you're there to actually brighten someone's day or make them have a good time.